Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, fish video. Today I'm kind of going to be showing you guys how to make some money, how to do some stuff and uh, whatnot. So let's get into it. So first, we're going to be showing you how to play the game properly. So a lot of people are suggesting uh, fish, uh, you know, at this place. Uh, hold up, I forget the name, but uh, oh, what was that? Uh, you know, Roseland, whatever you want to call it. Fish here? No. You don't need the fish here. Not You don't always need a fish here. It's not the best. It's not the worst. But, no. That's a lie. It just, just don't. You don't need a fish here. It's not the best. And nowadays, it's really not. So, I'm going to tell you that much. It's not the best. Do not, don't just sit here all day fishing. You should only come here during night, not day and night. Some people have been doing that. I've seen some people doing it. Don't. Do not sit here all day and night fishing here. It's not worth it. I'm going to tell you what's worth it. Alright? Do not sit there fishing all day. Alright? So where you want to go is the uh, Snow Cap Island. That is a good place. That's one of the best places for money. That and the lava area. In there. It's pretty good. So those are two good places. Inside the statue is also pretty good for money. The deep dock, also pretty good. But that's if you have the rods, if you have the stuff, and all that. What I'm talking about is for beginners. For beginners, Bozla is real good at night. Snow cap is good for day and night. And I'm going to show you why. So we're going to head to Bozla. I'm going to show you. So as you can see, my inventory is full of a bunch of good stuff. Real good stuff. Lots of stuff and I'm gonna show you how you kind of get this stuff what stuff you can use so you just want to use a lot of stuff that has a lot of luck in it like uh, stuff that says uh, universal luck is really good you just want to use it it's pretty good for catching stuff and I'll show you so I'll show you why snow cap is so good also we know to do all the crests uh, get yourself up to uh, quest 50 on the uh, angler thing. Quest 50, you'll get some guaranteed uh, bait. That's pretty good. Uh, the, what is it? I forget, but it's the worms you need to catch some stuff. Pretty good. You need them. So, I'm gonna fish you out, show you guys why. If I can get lucky, we'll see. But, right here, you can catch three, four mythics just by fishing here. And I'll kind of show you why. So we go to settings, I think it's right here. Yeah, just flashing that for a sec, you'll see why. It's really good. And not a lot of people come here. Because they don't know. You can catch the uh, mythical... What is it? There's a fish here. And there's a giant squid. You can catch both. Hold on. Let me open my beast here. Because I've caught them both. Yeah, colossal squid you can catch here. Glacial fish you can get here. You can catch the winger here. So that's three fish you can catch here that are all worth a lot. This is worth a ton. Like, let alone is worth a ton. Alright, this is worth a good amount as well. So, you want to get, you know, these fish. And I'll, I'll also tell you what uh, mythical is worth the most. This actually isn't. Surprise, surprise. This is not worth the most. So the Nessie is not. It's actually the mythical that's worth the most for uh, newbies. Uh, surprisingly, what is it? Is the Eisenator, or however you say that, it's this one. So if you can get this fish, you just made a profit. If you can get it to a certain weight and all that, it is worth 15,000 just for weight. It is worth more than a Nessie. Alright, so Nessies, you have to get them shiny, sparkling, really massive to be worth something. Ice and aids? Uh, no, you don't. Seed pickers are pretty easy to come by. This isn't. You know, this is well, but yeah, no, this is worth a good amount. This isn't worth much. Mythical fish ain't. Uh, this ain't worth nothing. And this is worth nothing as well. 
So I'll tell you guys that much. Like, I know which one's a wolf getting. So I'm just, I'll tell you guys that much. So you want to go for the big, big stuff. That's really hard to get. So the Eisenade, if you see that pool, wash for it. Ignore everything else, go for it. You want to catch that fish. It is the easiest mythical to catch if you have the wad. So if you have the King's Wad or the Steady Wad, go for it. Go, go, go. You want to catch it. Yes, it requires truffle worms, but just go for it. That's all it requires. Just go for um, something that has uh, a lot of universal luck, and you'll catch it. So try... Uh, you Okay, so my English is not good. I'm kind of sleepy. So what you want to do with your you know, steady rod or your king's rod, do not use bait for the first two attempts. And uh, the reason why is just because sometimes it's a lot better to do that. You, you might get lucky, I've gotten lucky. And then after that, use stuff that's really good. I don't know why the line card is like negative 5%, that's weird. But yeah, do that. And then after that, use your bait that's really good. So, you know, the algae, the you know other things like other good bait and all that and you'll catch some stuff like oh, I misclicked again I love misclicking but yeah you want to do that and it'll, you'll make a ton of money just tons and I'll show you some other features you guys might not know that will make you money too so this video will probably be pretty long because uh, I'm not gonna make 50 vids on this game like some youtubers are they're pumping out vids and I'm not gonna do that. I'm just not gonna. Hey, that's cringe, in my opinion. So I'm not gonna get lucky here with the uh, giant uh, octopus or whatever. I'm sorry for messing it up. I'm really sleepy. But as you can see, yeah. You wanna focus on mythics that will bring you the most money. So colossal squid's gonna make you most money. Sea pickle's pretty good for making money. Uh, it's worth 1,000 pull. It is really good, so farm that instead of the manta way. The sea pickles are worth way more. Straight up. Uh, sea pickle is just better, in my opinion. I like the sea pickle. He's easy as hell to get. You can just get him randomly in the ocean, so go for the sea pickle. Just go for him instead of manta way. And uh, go for Eisenade as well, if you want to make money. Uh, another thing you guys want to do, I don't know if you've done it yet, but uh, I'm going to show you in the in this vid. Because I'm not going to make five vids on this, so if you see this vid, share it around if you want. Oh, show me if you pool. We'll find that in a bit. Uh, go to Moose uh, Grove Swamp and go catch yourself an alligator. Once you do that, there's a guy under a mushroom by the alligator area. He's going to want that alligator. Give it to him and you'll get a wad. This wad is very useful. It gives you luck boosts every time you use it. Sometimes you use it, it will give you a luck boost and whatnot. It's really useful. So uh, you're going to want to give that guy the alligator. He won't take it from you for some reason, but uh, yeah. He'll give you that and you'll get a title. So uh, go do that. It's a really useful wad. But uh, yeah, whenever you see this strange wood pool, go look for it. Ignore every other thing and uh, find yourself the ward pool. And uh, once you're fishing, just always be uh, on the lookout for stuff. So right now, we're looking for a strange ward pool. Which, for some reason, is pretty hidden. But, I'll show you the most common locations of it. Sometimes it's near there. Most of the times, it's near sunstone and the statue. Kind of like behind here. So that's where I'm checking. I'm sure you know most common spots. I'm gonna cut through here. Like yeah, most of the time it's behind here. I've seen it spawn inside here. And then yeah, it's not behind here. There's a lot of areas it can spawn. But you always want to watch for it. It's the best case 
to make money because the Eisenade is worth a ton. Now, I'm not going to try to find it right now as well. <laughs> I don't feel like it, but I'll show you how much it is. How much you know, the Eisenade is worth compared to everything else. So it's not going to be an exact thing. So take out this Nessie. This would be like your average size uh, Nessie you'll catch. So average size Nessie, 4,000 to 8,000 plus. You know, 4 to 8, we'll say. 4 to 8. And we'll say, yeah, we'll just grab the Manta Ray for now. This won't be totally accurate, but yeah, he's not going to be worth as much as a Nessie or an Eisenade. You know, especially a big eyes made which is worth 15,000 out a regular eyes made is worth half as much it's worth 7,500 to 5,000 so still pretty good price for that really good price I mean it's really good to have that stuff so yeah and then I'll show you how much my pickle is worth this is both a lot, so I like having it. And then, uh, I'll show you guys how much all this is worth. Yeah, it's not going to be worth a lot, so just keep that in mind. But you, you kind of get to just why you should go for an Eisenade instead of other stuff. Like, even my uh, shiny big Nessie is only worth 21,000, and just my big Eisenade is worth 15. You see the. Uh, difference that's kind of like wild they spent a lot just to get it like this and my big eyes and I is all is already worth like almost as much so kind of why you guys should go for eyes and aid <laughs> so always go for the eyes and aid it is worth way more than everything else in the game so if you want money go for eyes and aid see you guys later